Hi everyone, it's Dr. Gail from Southern Pediatric Clinic, and this is your Healthy Living Blog, where I help empower parents with the knowledge to help make healthy decisions for their kids. We're continuing on with our newborn series, and this a video is going to be the scoop on poop. We are really talking about newborn and early infant um, poop questions. And we get tons of these types of questions in the office. And so I thought maybe this video could help to clarify some things. Of course, as always, if you still have questions, please contact your pediatrician. So let's jump right in. We're talking about initially just our newborn poop. And the first few bowel movements that an infant has are called meconium. And they tend to be a dark, tarry color, almost black or actually black. And this is just the, what's left over from what the baby had in the intestines as they were swallowing amniotic fluid in the belly. Once that dark, tarry stool passes, the stool tends to be about a yellowish color. And it will vary a little bit depending on whether a baby is breastfed or formula fed. And so a breastfed baby's poop um, tends to be yellow and look like it has little seeds in it. So we usually call it yellow and seedy. And it can vary anywhere from just being kind of a soft poop to being kind of runny. And that's normal. Now a formula fed baby's poop will tend to be a little bit more tannish to yellow and it tends to be a little bit firmer, although it doesn't have to be. And when we say firm, we mean probably about the consistency of peanut butter and really no, not much firmer than that. There are, will be some occasional variation in that color of stool from that yellow. Sometimes you'll get some stool that's more green. Sometimes you'll get even up to dark brown. You shouldn't go back to seeing that dark tar tarry stool though that you had in those first few stools. So if you see that, you definitely need to contact your pediatrician. <clears throat> and that variation in stool has to do with anything from how fast baby's digesting that day, to if it's a breastfed baby, what mommy ate that day, to if it's an older infant that's now on supplemental foods to what baby ate that day. So there can be some variation, green to dark brown, that is still completely normal. You may even see occasionally some streaks of blood in stool, and sometimes that's because there's some irritation around the anus or like a pretty bad diaper rash. So sometimes that is, um, is possible. But again, if you have any questions about that at all, please contact your pediatrician. Anytime there's a large amount of blood, there's a large amount of water or a large amount of mucus in stool, you need to contact your doctor. It's extremely important. Let's talk a little bit about frequency of stools. Now there's a wide range of normal with this as well. And um, some are babies are going to pass a bowel movement every single time they eat. That's normal, it's not considered diarrhea. A lot of babies around the age of three to six weeks old um, especially if they're breastfed, will decrease the frequency of stools quite a bit. And some may even stool only once a week. As long as that stool is still soft and not hard like little rocks or pebbles, it's not considered constipation. Breast milk is absorbed so well by babies that there's just not a lot left over in terms of waste to be eliminated. And so it, it will take a while before it accumulates enough for the baby to pass the bowel movement, and that's okay. As long as the stools are soft and your baby continues to gain weight well and is still nursing appropriately and frequently throughout the day, um, everything is pretty much normal. And let's just throw in a quick word on constipation. I'll do another video on that later on because it is a very, very topic and it can take a, quite a while. But in the beginning, it's normal for infants to appear that they are straining when they're stooling. 
that's because their tummy muscles just aren't strong enough yet to produce enough force and so they really really are trying to struggle babies also have the tendency to push and push but tighten their anal muscle or that area where the stool comes out and so they're basically pushing against themselves and they can get pretty frustrated they can look like they're struggling and straining pretty hard and they can even get fussy and start to cry but it's more of a because they're frustrated and not really because anything hurts okay as long again as long as the stool is coming out soft it is okay and babies over time learn how to stool in an efficient way where they can just kind of relax and go to the bathroom and that's all on on poop for now if you have any other questions please contact your pediatrician if you like this video think it might be helpful to someone else pass it along to a friend like the video subscribe to our channel so you can get updates and follow us on facebook and instagram as well this is dr gail with her healthy living vlog and we'll see you next time